morning. It is now Monday. Monday. <sighs> Boys, this week is going to be rough. It's going to be rough. Get prepared. Anyway, uh, I go to Mexico on Thursday. I come back on Sunday. Um... It's going to be rough. Anyway, uh, as, as I promised yesterday, as you guys can tell by the obvious frame that I'm putting right here in front of me, I am headed to get a haircut. Okay? I need one. Look at this. It's been, uh, I think, two months since I last got a haircut. Uh, so I think it's, a, it's, it's safe to say that it's, uh, that it's time to get another one, especially because I'm traveling, especially because I'm shooting a video down there. Uh, super cool project. I, I don't know the... The specifics of what I'm allowed to say or what I'm allowed to talk about, uh, I'll find that out today and then I'll give you guys more uh, detail later on in the vlog uh, if I'm allowed to. Anyway, this is the before and after. Look, I did not want this. I did not want it this short on the sides. He, my barber, messed me up. And I don't know how... Look, luckily I can wear a hat and be good. This doesn't look bad, obviously, but that's only because I'm extremely handsome. It's just really, really annoying that I have to wait to grow my hair to get it uh, the way that I want it. Like, this is like a, this is a young man's hairstyle. You know? I'm an old man. Of optic. Alright, uh, I got a lot of work to do right now. Headed to the scuff house in a little bit. I have to uh, bring in the CSGO, I, well, uh, how do I say this? Um, so we got a car for the CSGO house. Nothing fancy, it's just a simple, the, the, like a $2,500 car. Nothing super there, but it gets people from point A to point B in case of an emergency or in case they need to go get food, etc., etc. Anyway, headed, uh, head, gotta do work, gotta take a shower, gotta head to the scuff house, gotta see when Hitch gets back because we have uh, a lot of things to do, and then we should be good. All right, headed to the Counter-Strike house to talk to Oscar. Gotta catch up with him on a couple of things, and then I have to head over to the scuff house to make sure that the house is entirely and utterly ready for the interview tomorrow and then the photo shoot on Wednesday. And then on Thursday, I go to Mexico. Can I get a break? Let's go house now. Got some water. They didn't hear me knocking or the doorbell ring. So I'm gonna head towards the back, punch in the code, get in that way. Not into it, but to do it. Uh, let's see. No, Will went home for a couple of days with his. Uh, with his dad, his dad picked them up yesterday. Just gotta grab some stuff here. The vlog I showed you guys the newest, the newest tenant at the CSGO house. I have another new tenant. I mean a sandwich, man. I got lettuce in my tea. <laughs> Lieutenant Tenant Porter. Tom. <laughs> oh my God, Jacob, it's actually in. Yep, it's actually me. Hello, nice to meet you. That was Crim6. Your phone's here. Yo, you, you're, you're taking Seth's car. Yes. You're taking good care of it. Yes. It's on you. It's already been crashed. Huh? Who cares? It's already been crashed. No, it hasn't. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it crashed into. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's frame damage. There's frame damage for the brain damage. Yeah, you don't buy a car with frame damage. Damn, so you would have been like, don't, don't, you wouldn't have bought that off a of wheel? No. That cheap? Yeah, because you can't sell it. So you just keep you it? You can't trade it in. Let me see this. Let me see this. Bro, you know these are fucking nasty? Like, have you guys ever... Like, have you guys seen, uh... Faces of Death? No. Is that a movie with these? No. No. I was, I was about to... Uh, the Raid. The Raid Redemption? Yeah, Raid Redemption. Yeah. Raid 2. Yeah. Raid 2 was amazing. Raid 2 was not better than Raid 1. What the fuck? Have did you watched you Raid 1? What the fuck did you just say? Raid 1 was better than Raid 2. No, man. The Raid Redemption was way... The second one was a shitty plot. 
Oh and fucking the fighting God. scenes were not even fucking like. You're telling me you didn't, you didn't piss yourself final fight? When the dude fought the two guys? In the kitchen? No. I don't remember. I'm gonna have to go watch dude, it again. That's like the best fight in any movie ever. No, it's not better. Yes. It's not better than than yes, uh, than is. the Protector. I haven't seen that. With have you ever seen Ong Bak the Thai warrior? No. The first one, Ong Bak the Thai warrior. This is fucking scary. Just doing this. Do you even know what this? Is? So, so, anyways, let me get to a point. Listen, so I'm getting. Guys, I'm getting a. Hold on, I'm getting a call from a FaceTime call. If you're fighting someone, you're killing him. Yeah. Because he's. A yeah, bad guy you, is you, good. No, but these are literally designed to kill, not just to like... Maim? Yeah, just not like to stab and then dip, you know? No. These are meant to literally kill someone. Yeah, good. And they're selling these to 14 year olds who play CSGO. Like, <laughs> how the fuck is that legal, bro? Oscar, uh, how mean, is that legal? I mean, it's the US. Uh, they don't sell those in Spain? I think they, they do. They definitely do. Time out. Think. You haven't seen Ong Bak the Thai Warrior. No, what the fuck is that? It is by far one of it is in my top three best uh, uh, martial arts movies ever. You've never seen it, bro. No. Ong Bak the Thai Warrior. No. So that means you haven't seen The Protector, which no. is in my top three the favorite Protector fight scenes. Sounds whack. Like what the fuck? Is, that sounds like a Steven Seagal movie. No, it's not. Yes, well, it, it is. is. No, it's John Claude Van Damme. Oh my god. <laughs> No, I'm, oh, kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You for real never seen it? No. All right, I'm gonna show you a fighting scene. Okay, hold on. Hey, yo, this is a tip to everyone in Hector's vlog. If you don't sit with the seat all the way to the floor, you're a fucking driving novice. I don't know who was sitting here before, but it was like all the way up. This is what you do. You go all the way down. This ain't no gangster shit either. This is how like you get the best out of the car. It's the best feeling. Okay. Please learn. See you later, Krim and Seth Scar. Okay, day at the scuff house done. Now I'm headed to the to the scuff. I'm sorry, day at the Counter Strike house. It's now done. I'm headed uh, to the scuff house now because I need to make sure that the lights and all that stuff from Christmas have all been taken down because, as I said. We have very important things to do tomorrow and the day after. All right, wow, it's super windy. Listen, mission, there's only one mission as I step into this house. One mission, one goal, and one opportunity. Nice. Okay, so tomorrow all we need to do is get rid of these little shiny things. Okay. Okay. Because not here. Well, for the most part, everything's taken down. I need to take down that that snowflake, those things. And that's that. I'm gonna say hi to whoever's here. Buddy? No, oh, buddy. <laughs> Did you get a haircut? Yep. You trying to be ready for this photo shoot? I didn't know we had one, but I will be ready. What do you mean? Looking, yeah, you knew one. It is always, huh? You knew we had one. I just told you this morning, two days you in told advance. Me after. Two days in advance. What do you mean? I told you two days notice. Yeah, but I already had the. Air All right, what are you doing? It was just lucky time. I just got back from my adventures all day because I'm productive member of this society, catching up on a little doc. Then at approximately six p.m., I'm gonna make this video. When you say this video, what do you mean? I'm gonna react. Hey, I just reacted to one of my, my first interviews ever. Really? Yo, it's crazy. I think it was in 2011, the, the, I think it was like the third or fourth Call of Duty event we ever went to. And everything that I said there is happening right fucking now. It's incredible, bro. Really? Yeah, I'm like, as I'm watching, I'm like, I'm a watching. fucking genius. <laughs> All right, you good? You need anything? <coughs> the, what happened to my Chipotle bowl? You know, I've said this before, you know, empty houses are always a prelude to what's to come, you know, in the future, not right now. Um, you know, as, as people grow older, they don't, there's no longer a need for, for these houses, right? Uh, as, as people get girlfriends and they move out and do that, and, and, and there's a whole bunch of scenarios where 
there's no longer a need for team houses, at which point, you know, we either get new content creators or new, um, new, let me rephrase that, new established content creators and new, uh, new players, you know, maybe a farm system where we have a team that completes in the amateur league and we raise them to be nice, productive young men of our society. If it's too windy, I apologize. Uh, but that's where the offices come in. That's where the, the compound comes in. Offices, studio, everything to make sure that the, that the cohesiveness and the togetherness continues to happen. All right, I'm gonna call it a day right here, right now. I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow as usual, and as per usual. 6 a.m. every single day, also known as in the same damn lunch meeting uh, with the most talented people in the house, yet the ones that are doing the least.